Now we are entering the world of precious metals. Welcome to the world of gold and silver stacking, a realm where the allure of precious metals meets practical investment. Whether you're a newcomer eager to make your first purchase or a seasoned enthusiast, this journey into precious metal investment is designed to enlighten and guide you. Now to precious metals let's take a glimpse into history. Gold and silver have captivated humankind for millennia, not just as objects of beauty but as steadfast currencies. Their journey as money dates back to around 1500 BCE. Imagine ancient traders using scales to measure silver for transactions, with the shekel, a unit of weight in the Middle East, becoming synonymous with silver exchange. The 6th century BCE marked a turning point with the Kingdom of Lydia's coin minting innovation, transforming gold and silver into standardized coins, thus revolutionizing trade. Fast forward to the modern era, where gold and silver retain their value and significance, albeit in a different economic landscape. The US dollar, once gold-backed until President Nixon's 1971 decision, embarked on the fiat currency path, severing its direct link to gold. Historically, silver played a more prominent role in daily transactions due to its relative abundance compared to gold, with a natural ratio of approximately 1 to 7 or 1 to 8 in the Earth's crust. Silver is the people's currency. Silver, often referred to as the money of the people, has been a cornerstone of trade and commerce. It's the accessible cousin to gold, offering a more attainable entry point for those beginning their journey in precious metals. Gold, with its higher value density, was typically reserved for settling large transactions among merchants and traders. You should be diversified in precious metals. While gold and silver are the stars of the show, other metals like platinum and palladium also fall under the precious metals category. Rhodium, a rare and valuable platinum group metal, though less common, is also considered a precious metal. However, for the purpose of this guide, our focus will remain primarily on gold and silver, the pillars of precious metal investing. A note to new investors education is key in the world of gold and silver stacking. While I'm no expert, my experience in this field has equipped me with valuable insights that I'm eager to share with you. Remember, the more you know, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions and navigate the precious metals market confidently. Exploring gold, a symbol of wealth and stability, comes in various forms. For those new to stacking, understanding these varieties is crucial. Let's start with classic gold bullion, like pre-1933 US coins. These historical pieces offer a glimpse into the past. Modern alternatives include gold eagles and gold buffaloes, the official bullion coins of the United States. For a more budget-friendly option, consider generic gold bars. They typically carry lower premiums, making them an excellent choice for maximizing gold content per dollar spent. There is a fascinating world of hyper-fractional gold. For those interested in smaller denominations, gold banknotes present an intriguing option. Made of 24-karat gold, these laminated notes contain minuscule amounts of gold, offering a unique way to accumulate precious metals. While the premium over the spot price is higher, their novelty and collectability make them a fascinating addition to any portfolio. Understanding Premiums in Gold Investments When investing in gold, it's essential to grasp the concept of premiums. Premiums represent the cost over the spot price of gold. Generally, larger gold products like bars or coins carry lower premiums compared to smaller items due to economies of scale and production. For instance, a 10-gram gold bar will have a lower premium per ounce than a 1 10th ounce gold coin. This principle is crucial for strategizing your investments and getting the most value for your money. Transitioning to silver it's the popular choice. Silver, often more accessible than gold, offers a diverse range of investment options. Like gold, silver is available in various forms, including coins, rounds, and bars. Understanding the difference between these types is key for new investors. Silver coins, such as the US Silver Eagle or the Canadian Maple Leaf, are produced by government mints and often carry a nominal face value. Rounds, on the other hand, are produced by private mints and are not legal tender. The appeal of silver bars it is popular choice among many investors due to their lower premiums and variety in sizes. From small 1-ounce bars to large 100 ounces bars, Silver offers flexibility in investment sizes. Larger bars, like the 100 ounces options, provide a significant amount of silver at a lower premium. 
making them an attractive choice for those looking to invest a larger sum. Here is a tip for new investors. When starting your journey in precious metal investment, consider diversifying between gold and silver, and between different types of bullion. This diversification can mitigate risk and offer a balanced approach to your precious metals portfolio. As we explore the world of gold and silver bullion, remember that knowledge is power in the realm of precious metals investing. If you found this information helpful and want to continue learning about the nuances of gold and silver stacking, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights. When venturing into precious metals, understanding the spot price is essential. Contrary to common belief, the spot price doesn't represent the cost of a one-ounce physical metal but rather a futures contract price on commodities exchanges like COMEX. These contracts, often representing large quantities like 5,000 ounces, trade as digital or paper, silver, offering a benchmark for physical metal pricing but at a discount due to their liquidity. The Role of Premiums in Precious Metal Investments Premiums are the additional costs over the spot price you pay for physical gold or silver. These arise due to manufacturing, distribution, and retailing expenses. For instance, converting large COMEX bars into smaller, consumer-friendly products like coins and rounds incurs costs, reflected in premiums. Generally, larger bullion pieces carry lower premiums due to economies of scale, making them a more cost-effective option for larger investments. Practical Tip – Understanding and Managing Premiums As a new investor, it's crucial to be mindful of premiums. Opt for bullion products that balance the metal content you get for your money and the premium you're willing to pay. For example, 100 ounces silver bars might offer the lowest premiums, but their large size could pose liquidity challenges. Conversely, smaller units like 1 ounce coins or rounds offer more flexibility but come with higher premiums. The intricacies of gold and silver bullion products let's dive deeper. Silver products like US Silver Eagles or Canadian Maple Leafs often have higher premiums due to their government mint status. However, private mint rounds or bars might offer a more budget-friendly entry point into silver investing. For gold, products range from classic coins like pre-1933 US gold to modern bullion and generic gold bars. Each type has its unique appeal, be it historical value, purity, or affordability. A tip on handling precious metals This essential tip for new stackers. Handling larger bars, especially gold or silver, requires care. A dropped bar can cause injury, so always handle with caution and use appropriate safety measures, like wearing closed-toed shoes when moving heavy bars. Different premiums for the physical versus paper market. Understanding the difference between physical and paper markets is crucial. The premium you pay for physical metals reflects the tangible nature of these assets, unlike paper contracts that are often backed by less physical metal than the contracts represent. This discrepancy can lead to market manipulation, making physical metals a more reliable and tangible asset in your portfolio. Let us formulate a strategic approach to precious metals. As you delve deeper into gold and silver stacking, developing a strategic approach is key. This strategy should align with your financial goals, whether seeking capital appreciation, hedging against inflation, or building a tangible emergency fund. Reflect on why you're investing in precious metals and let this understanding guide your purchasing decisions. Diversification lets balance how much gold and silver you want. A balanced portfolio often includes both gold and silver, each offering unique benefits. Gold, often seen as a store of value, provides stability, while silver, with its industrial uses, has potential for growth. Diversifying not only across these metals but also within various types of bullion, coins, bars, rounds, can mitigate risk and offer a well-rounded investment. Another practical tip, incremental purchases. Adopt a strategy of making regular, incremental purchases. This approach, often referred to as dollar cost averaging, helps navigate market fluctuations and builds your investment over time. For instance, setting a monthly budget for gold and silver purchases can accumulate a substantial portfolio without overextending your finances. Understanding and utilizing spot price fluctuations You should keep an eye on spot price trends. Buying during price dips can maximize your investment. However, avoid trying to time the market perfectly. Consistent, thoughtful purchasing over time typically yields better long-term results than attempting to predict short-term market movements. 
Avoid leveraging and overextending This is a crucial piece of advice for new investors to avoid leveraging or using debt to purchase precious metals. The volatility of the market can lead to financial strain if you're not purchasing with disposable income. Similarly, avoid going all in at once. Maintain liquidity and flexibility by keeping cash reserves. Preparing for potential market scenarios Did you know gold and silver serve as hedges against various economic uncertainties, including inflation, currency devaluation, and systemic financial risks? While these metals don't guarantee immunity from economic downturns, they provide a tangible asset that's historically held value across various economic conditions. As we wrap up this comprehensive overview of gold and silver stacking, remember that your journey in precious metals is a marathon, not a sprint. Be patient, strategic, and informed in your approach. And if this guide has been informative and you're keen to continue learning about smart investing and financial questions answered, subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on building a secure and prosperous financial future.